I missed you guys last week. Um, my husband and I had a wonderful weekend away um, at a cabin in West Virginia, Kakapon State Park, and I highly recommend it. It was fantastic. Um, great little getaway. And of course, we did a little antiquing and um, got this beautiful, and it's behind me, I haven't put it up yet. This hull to add to my collection. So if you've ever seen above my um, windows, I have a whole lot of hull pottery and we like to look for it wherever we go. So um, that was one of our finds. And then when we came back, um, we came back Monday, but Tuesday, um, our Altoona area business community had, hey, Kathleen, how are you? We had um, a curve night. So um, that's the, the local baseball team. It's like a little um, affiliate of the Pirates. So anyway, so what we're going to do tonight is um, a project that I have been wanting to do for quite a while. I've had these for a while. These are flower sack towels. And I think I got these at Dollar General or definitely maybe Family Dollar. It wasn't um, good. Good to hear it. <laughs> um, it wasn't the Dollar Tree. But anyway, so we're going to do some crafting with these tonight. I have been on a stamping kit kick lately. So um, I'm just opening up these towels. If I'm not mistaken, these are really, really big towels. Um, so feel free to say hi when you come on on Facebook. We're live on the La Vintage Decor page and also on the workshops at La Vintage Decor page. And that reminds me to tell you that we're going to get started pretty soon here and have some um, good old beginner's furniture uh, painting classes and also some advanced techniques classes um, at the store, at our new store at 814 Green Avenue. And I'm still going to check and see. We might have some classes out at the U.S. Hotel, so um, we'll keep you posted on that. So I'm going to open one of these up and we'll see how big it is. Okay, it's kind of a square, which is kind of weird for a dish towel. Um, we'll go with it. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking, boy, this is like if you fold it in half or cut it in half. But this to me is the size of a dish towel. So I think you could easily do that and put a hem in it. Um, and then you would have twice as many. So there's one two, three, wait, yeah, that feels like more, okay, one, two, three, four, five, that's what I thought, five in the pack, so you could actually get ten out of the pack if you wanted to split them up, so, um, so I brought home just a big collection of stamps, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go through them all, um, we have Iron Orchids designs and also redesign with Prima. So um, this one's cool. It's a cow. <laughs> so we have some farm animals. There's a pig. I just recently did this on a chair. And I love this one. It's a hare, a rabbit. It's cute. And then the sheep, too. There's so much detail in that. I love that. So, um, and there's also a rooster. I believe these ones were iron orchid designs. And then these are just some birds that came out of the, um, I think these are all redesigned with Prima ones, but these ones, I don't know whether these are IOD or redesign, but I love the detail in these ones. I'll turn them around this way. They're off the card, so... Um, but they have so much detail. They really are pretty. So there's those. And then there's branches that we can perch the birds on. I see a crown. 
And like I said, I just grabbed things and I'm really bad at putting them back together and cleaning them as you can see. Um, but this is just kind of like a design here. Dollar Tree owns the family dollar. Oh yeah, interesting. Okay, yeah, um, JRV, they've been uh, working with the new Iron Orchid Designs um, release that they had. Um, so then this one is kind of like more of an architectural design. There's all kinds of florals. There's roses, there's floral swags, and I'd like to mix some of these up with the farm animals. There's, um, this is like a, a grain sack stripe, made easy. Um, so this might be a good thing to put along with our farm animals too. And these are more kind of flourishy architectural designs. I'm pretty sure these ones are um, redesign. This one, I definitely wanna use. Hey, Brandy. Yeah, I love the grain sack one too. I wanna use this one too. This is a rose floral swag. I don't know whether you can see it that way or not, but I think for the size of the towel, it'll be nice to do that. More, more flower swags. This one goes with, when I find it, I'll set it aside for a minute. Okay, so these were in, um, these were Iron Orchid designs. These were like in a wreath pack. So there were all kinds of just like opposite curved ones that you could make all kinds of wreaths with. Um, more grain sack. Yeah, I, for whatever reason, cut that apart at one time. So, um, you know, all these things are on here separately and you can take them off. Um, I like to leave them on the backing though, so I'm gonna do that. But sometimes I do cut them apart. This is a piece of blank mylar, which is really good sometimes if you're spelling out words or you wanna arrange something, then you can press it on that and then just use the whole thing. So um, here's more twigs and more florals and um, garland. Oh, Brandy, you're going to love this one. <laughs> a big bee. <laughs> Check that out. There is a smaller one, and I actually used it on that um, china closet that I had done. And also, I got this from Michael's. And this um, can be a beehive, or it could be like chain link fence uh, or something. If you wanted to do it like with the chicken, you could do like chicken wire. So um, very versatile and it's a nice big block stamp. So um, we might be using that with a B tonight. I'm kind of feeling that. Um, I love the crowns with the bees too. That one's, that's pretty cool. I know there's a reflection on there, but if you can see laurel wreaths and crowns and all that good stuff and all these architectural things down at the bottom. I've just been so into stamps lately. And then letters. Also been into spelling things with lowercase letters. But I don't know if we're going to spell anything tonight. But just wanted to bring all these home to show you. Here's one of my favorites. I have used this one so much. I'll turn it around. See, that gives you a better idea of what this one looks like and I absolutely love this one um okay there's another plane okay this one I have probably had the longest this is back when Dixie Bell had some of the IOD and there was a big um how do I want to say it a big separation iron orchid designs used to be Part of Redesign with Prima or any way Redesign with Prima marketed their um, their stuff. But then there was a disagreement or something. And so then Redesign kept some of their designs and they had to wait until some of them retired. It was a big, big ordeal. But anyway, this was an original IOD and this was back 
in the day. So this is the one when I picked this up, this came with this. So this is like a border that goes along with this. So who knows? We might try that tonight. Um, more flowers. These are like hydrangeas and little, um, I guess, I don't know, hibiscus maybe? Um, here was the, the wreath builder. So you could take all these different ones and just build them. Okay, and here's the one where that big rose uh, swag came off. There's a smaller one. You can see I've never used these. Those ones have bows on them. And those are the ones that, that had the detailed birds on them. Uh, another Mylar. You can see I just grabbed stuff. <laughs> but sometimes that's more fun, right? I have letters and numbers out the wazoo. Okay, and then here's another one. I put the, I used this a long time ago on a furniture piece, and these are two separate stamps, and I just lined them up on a piece of mylar, and I never undid it because I just thought, hey, it's lined up and ready to go. Now, um, you can see that there's a heavy concentration of paint on here. So I actually used paint on here instead of ink. So we're going to be using ink tonight. But if you do use paint, you want to use a brayer. Because if you just brush it on, what will happen is the paint will get down in here. And then when you press down, you'll get that your fingerprints basically in there. And you won't get a clean impression. So we might use this one tonight with some ink. But we've got a lot of things to choose from. So... Um, Let's get prepped here. I do have my archival inks that I love to use. These are Distress Ink. Um, these are by Ranger. And all kinds of colors. And I took all the lids off to make sure that I had all the right colors. I was filming um, some chairs. A painting of some chairs. And I was stamping a farm animal. And I got a purple pig. Sorry about my hand there. I just wanted to put the screen down. So, so that won't happen. We want to make sure we have the right thing. So let's decide what are we going to do. My only reservation with this one is that we're going to have to act fast. I say we like you're going to do it too. But um, I'd really have to act fast with this because I think we'd have enough time let's let's just try it out right so we're going to open one of these up and i think what i'm going to do since it is so wide is just do it across the bottom and kind of keep it separate that way if i decide to cut it apart then we'll be ready i love cotton towels in the kitchen i just i just think they're really nice I like the aesthetic of them. I like the way they look. Okay, so let's see. This, now I wrinkled it all up after I smoothed it all out. So let's see how far this would go. Well, it goes over the line. So that being said, let's, let's rework. We have a crease here that shows us what the middle would be. So this one we'll just keep as a real big one. Because, honestly, I doubt that I'm going to cut them apart and hem them anyway. So, for our purposes tonight, we'll just work with a big towel. Now, I do have this um, large, this is a redesign, and this is copper, but I don't know. I don't think that's going to show up very good. I think it would need re-inked. I've had this guy for a while. These little ones don't seem to need that that often. I kind of destroyed one of them. Um, but, okay, I'm going to pick a pretty color for this one. Um, what do you think? This is Mermaid Lagoon. I mean, there's so many different colors, but there's Barn Door. Anybody have a pick?
all kinds of pretty colors. Um, picked raspberry, but we might use that for some florals. Uh, faded jeans. There's also a green here. Um, peeled paint. <laughs> I love this one. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for one that has a really, um, really highly pigmented because of this big design I just want to make sure that we get it we get it on there I'm just gonna go for this basic blue so wish me luck here guys I'm gonna get it inked up to be careful that's kind of off the off the mylar sheet. Okay, I think the ink's gonna stay wet enough for us till I get it completely inked. Okay, here goes. We sort of have to act fast when we ink, uh, when we work with the ink. Okay, I'm using that crease and I'm also using the hem down below as my guideline because once I drop this baby, there's no going back. <laughs> and you just kind of gently press down on it. You don't have to have every little piece of it make contact because that's the way you get sort of a distressed look. Okay, everything I do is distressed. <laughs> okay, pulled it up quickly. Now, you can see that's not a real heavy design, but I like it though. And what we're gonna do is heat set these. Now, I don't have the iron here right now, but what we would do would be, um, if you had a heat press, you could use the heat press. Um, but I would just use an iron and um, set it. That way you can wash it. And we can make this design go off the edge of the towel or we could find something smaller. But I think the scale of this is kind of important to, you know, to keep that big design going. So let's just uh, do a monochromatic one and just continue inking it. Now you can redo if you want. Um, I mean, what, what I'm saying is you can go for a second impression on one inking if you want, but I usually re-ink every time because I want the same kind of impression as I got the first time. Now, if you're doing an all-over pattern or, you know, as they say, a ditzy pattern, then you can kind of get away with that. So once again, I'm using a fold and I'm using the hem as a guideline. And I'm making my paper because I kind of went off the edge there, but that's okay. I didn't know how much to do, so... Well, that one came out really nice. Love it. Okay, so now we want to do the other side for this one. Yeah, let's <laughs> make sure I do it right. These little uh, inks are addicting, but IOD or Iron Orchid Designs just did their summer release. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful products. They have uh, these stamps, molds, paint inlays, which is something I'd love to play with at some point. They're a little pricey, but I guess you get a lot out of them. But it's an investment.
Okay, now we could do the opposite end too if we wanted. But usually, I think, you know, when you hang a, a dish towel up, you're just going to hang one, you're going to fold it, or, well, in this case, we're probably going to fold it, um, but you're only going to have one, this is your towel bar, and you just have that hanging down, so, um, so I'm happy with the first stamp. What do you think, guys? I like it. Okay, and of course I'll probably put these in this in the shop. All right, and um, I will make sure they are heat set. Okay, so we have another one here. Let let's pick a design before we do that. And I want to make sure that I get those ones that I already inked out of the way. Okay, let's let's. Brandy, I don't know if you're still on, but if you are, this one's for you. We're going to do the bee, the bees, okay? So let's, um, let's put this out. And... Guess we'll just do a row kind of across. So I'm going to use this color called fossilized amber, and that is going to be our beehive. I think I did use this one with paint before, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm just going to line this up just kind of with both hems in the corner. It's a lot easier on this block. Depends, though. Depends on what you're working with. Okay, barely visible, but that's okay. You can still see it. And we're just going to keep going. Because once we add the B to it, I think that will um, you be... Kind of be able to see that a little bit more. Okay, now we have to line this up with the other side. And it's not going to be perfect, but we'll do our best. pretty good. So we are gearing up for a little vacation. It's kind of a working vacation. I'm going to go paint my niece's cabinets, but it's down in Florida, which is really, really cool. And then we're going to stop in Myrtle Beach on the way back. Well, that's part of our vacation too, I guess. And so, yeah, actually, this is the first time in five years that we've actually gone on a vacation of any sort. So we're closing the shop. That's one of the benefits of kind of downsizing a little bit in my shop. Kind of don't have to worry about, you know, if I want to close, I close. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm putting the... Um, the word out so that everybody who needs paint will come get their paint uh, before I go so that they stock up because <laughs> I just placed a really big order and it's coming in tomorrow and that way we'll be ready for you just finished up today doing a to have a little overlap here, but that's okay. But I'm going to be a little more conscious of that the next one. Um, just finished up a dining room set today. It's not 100% not finished. I'll actually tomorrow evening we'll go 
put the finishing touches on, put it together, and it really turned out beautiful. Pretty happy with it. Makes me want to paint mine. Of course, I always say that, and my husband's opposed to it, but I always tease him about it. Okay, and then there's room for just a little bit more on the end. Okay, beautiful. So now that we've done it the whole way across, you can see it more. I know it's still really light, but you can definitely see it more with the whole thing going across. Okay, so now let's find that big old B. I think it's one of these. I think it's this one, yes. Okay, so this is a great big B. And I'm going to peel it off here. Sometimes you'll think that these never come off. Okay, so this one is Iron Orchid Designs. Okay. So, I don't know whether we're going to give this bee a crown. Or whether we should do, I think what we should do is just a couple like random going across. Bees are so in right now. And then, you know, I'm not, I never like odd numbers with anything. So, um, uh, so we'll do five. So I'll start one in the middle. So... Okay, so I have a little torn on my colors here. I think because we use this, um, oh, Grizzly's under the table. <laughs> we took him to the vet today, so he was so good. So I guess doing, I think I'm just going to do the whole thing dark. I think I'm going to use this color Ground Espresso. Because I have this one, but I've beat this one up. This one's called Vintage Photo. Because I use it on the edges of things, and it actually came out of here. I can still use it, but um, I try to just kind of save it. <laughs> so I think uh, we'll just use this one. This, again, is called Ground Espresso. And we could make it real fanciful if we wanted and do different colors, but we're going to go traditional. Okay, so we're going to plop one in the middle here. Cute. I'll do a couple more and then I'll pick it up and show you. And usually when I do stuff that's uneven like this, I'll go and do the next one on the end. So I'll probably orient this way. So again, I'm re-inking so that I get a nice good impression. This is really a, an easy thing to get into, you know, if you want, if you want to get your hands on something easy, this is it. And it looks so impressive. These are so cute. I love this. Grizz is shaking up the whole room there. I carefully get those edges 
Okay, so we made those two going that way, so now we're going to flip this guy a little bit this way. Oh, see ya, Kathleen. Sorry you have to go. I just looked up and saw your comment. Anyway, it was good seeing you a short period of time. <laughs> Take care. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. All right. So we'll plop this guy on the end. If you haven't been at the new store yet, stop on by. We are going to have a grand opening at some point. Um, we're still working on a few things, some signs and stuff. Um, but we're getting there. It's, the store looks really good. And I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, I made this move. Very happy. Okay, check this out. Isn't that so cute? Can you see that? Trying to get it in front of both cameras. <laughs> there we go. I really think it's cute. I like that one. So this would be one that you could spell something. Let's do that. Let's do it. So what? Be nice? Um, what's a good be saying for the kitchen? Um, honeybee or... I think be nice is good. Now, if I have all those letters, I know I have a whole bunch I at the store because um, I have some loose. So it's questionable as to whether I have all those letters. Well, let me see. Here's a B. Like I said, I've kind of been in the lower into doing lowercase lately. I don't know why. And I'm not gonna put these on a backing. Boy, this is just dependent on whether I have all the letters, and I don't think I do. Well, okay. Well, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. See, this is this was this was when I was unorganized. Then I couldn't find anything, so then I would just get new. <laughs> Um, hmm. I don't have the ease. Darn. Hmm. And I don't want to do capitals. So I might, I might add the be nice later. But either way, I think it's cute. And I'm happy with that one. All right, um, next I say, let's see. I am really wanting to use that garland. So let's find that. And I still wanna do a farm animal, so we can do a farm animal and grain sack. And I also think I wanna bust this one out tonight too. <laughs> um, Where's my great big rose garland? Okay, here's that. And I'm going to try to stamp it in such a way that I can see the leaves and the roses and so I can use the appropriate colors on it. Let's 
So this will be one where I'll put it in the middle and then, um, cause it, it would be, well, maybe not. It would just fit to do, but again, I probably won't, um, take this apart. So, or I mean, cut it and hem it. So I'm just gonna, oops, sorry, Chris. I'm just gonna go for it in the middle. All right, so this one is called the Peeled Paint, which is a green color. So I'm gonna look for all the leaves and do that. I just wanna be careful that I don't get it on the dishcloth. Boy, sometimes you can't tell. And it's okay to mix it up a little bit if you get a little pink on the leaves or a yeah pink on the leaves and also some green on the flower it's okay it'll still look pretty i think i've got most of them This is so pretty. This is called Picked Raspberry. So either way, whatever you do, it's going to be pretty. <laughs> if you have pink on your leaves or um, green on your plants. Yeah. Flowers. I can't talk tonight, guys. Don't mind me. I'm... I'm involved in my stamping, I guess. Okay, that is so pretty. It's gonna look really pretty on here. Okay, and again, we have the middle here, I guess. <laughs> I'm able to kind of go by the folds. Okay, so they say once you lay it down, you have committed and you don't wanna shift your stamp and the iod girls oh they're so cute sally and and josie they're just so cute they say you tickle your stamp <laughs> and they talk about getting your stamp pad real juicy <laughs> they're funny okay it's it's faded but i like it it's it's really a cool like sort of vintage i think look Okay, it reminds me of old hankies or something. Um, I like it. So, do another swag, like off the side. Or pick another one. I think because of the scale, I'm going to stick with this. Um, Re-ink a little bit here. Actually, I'm going to ink the whole thing because one will be one side and one will be the other side. And I think I'll have plenty of time to, to do them both. These are definitely some vibrant colors. Okay, so I'm going to move this over its head. Oh, that's so pretty. This would be a really cute t-shirt. Okay, so there we go. Very simple, but I think really pretty. All right, so we're going through these. We have three done already. So let's do farm animal. So which one do we want? 
I am going to say either the sheep or the rabbit. I love them both. I'll tell you what. I'll start with the grain sack. And if anybody has an opinion on this, please weigh in. Sheep versus rabbit. <laughs> I think Walmart has these two that you can get um, in the craft section. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to run this along the bottom. Now, I've never used this one, and I don't, oh, I don't always do this, but they say you should sand them when they're new, which is kind of different. But um, so I'm thinking for this one that red is going to be the color for for the stamp so I'm thinking kind of farmhousey with this one so let's ink up our stamp I like it because it has the grain or the I guess I want to say grain. It, it looks like fabric, like they included that in the design. They aren't just stripes. They put texture in it like it is actually grain. Because you could do this on furniture, too. And we're actually stamping on fabric, but if you were stamping on furniture, it would kind of give the impression of the fabric. Okay, so again, I'm using the side, and I'm kind of using the bottom hem as my guide and it's not perfectly straight but you know me I don't always go for perfection <laughs> okay oh that's cute I like it now I definitely want to meet these up nicely anybody gonna weigh in on the sheep versus the hair for our farm animal re-ink and again this is uh, ranger ink these are archival inks from ranger and this is the barn door color i love these little pads they're great for small projects but you can get larger ones okay so again, I kind of want to match that up pretty well. And then look at my hem. Pretty good. That was a pretty good seam there. Okay, you're going to force me to make the decision by myself, and I don't know. Maybe I'll do them both. Hmm, it's a big towel. You can have a couple animals. There's no law against it. The only issue I have with that, I'm really weird about this, is scale. Like, the rabbit would be huge compared to the sheep because they're about the same size. So, I'm thinking we might have to pull the, the pig out and use the sheep and the pig. Because the rabbit would just be too big. Or we could just do a row of rabbits. We could do that. Okay, I really like the way that turned out so far. Check that. Okay. So, um, I, I think I'm going for the bunny. Now, we could get real creative and do maybe birds and bunnies. Oh, I think 
I didn't see who said it, but someone said sheep. <laughs> um, hmm. I do like the sheep, no doubt. But then I just had this other idea. What if we did this? I do love the detail in this, though. What if we did a brown rabbit and then we put a little branch over here and did a blue bird? We could do that, too. <laughs> but I can't see your comment anymore because on YouTube it goes away, but I did see it. So if you comment again, I'll get to see everything else that was said. <laughs> but since you're the only one that weighed in, I will we'll do the sheep because I asked for an opinion. I wish I had... Um, I wish I had opposing sheep so we could make two face in each other, but I don't. So... There's also a cow. We could do a couple different ones, but like I said, I'd want, that's the other issue I have with the chicken. He's too big compared to the pig. So he'd have to be all by himself on a towel if you ask me. You love the sheep. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll do sheep then. Sheep it is. All right, I asked for an opinion, and you're the only one that gave an opinion. So, I love the sheep, too. Okay, so I think what we're going to use is uh, the color black soot. So, I think we'll do four of them. We'll get our sheep fixed this way. <laughs> Oh, sure. I'm just glad you're watching. Like I said, I was kind of torn anyway, so that helped. Leaning towards that bunny, but you know. <laughs> we'll just have to stamp more things, that's all. Now that we know how the easy these towels are. So I'm going to kind of center this in the middle of this one. And just kind of use the bottom of my... I have this like on a backing sheet. And I'm just using the bottom of that along the dish towel lines. The grain sack lines. Oh, how cute. I'm glad you picked sheep. That is really cute. And I will definitely hold it up here in a minute. I hope you can see it, but um, we're gonna do we're gonna do them across. Like I said, I wish they faced each other, but they don't. So So have you guys tried stamping? And if you haven't, do you think you will now? <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. Farid, am I saying that right? Or Farid? Okay, there was a little something under, ah, there was a little piece of another one under there. So we got a heavier impression there, but that's okay. I don't mind when they're a little different. I think that's kind of cool. The S pronunciation. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm still not sure if I said it right. I, I don't think I did, but. I also can't see the screen really good because it's kind of flipped. So forgive me uh, and I'll, I'll try to learn. <laughs> Where are you viewing from?
Okay, so we're doing another one here. Baltimore. Oh, okay. My husband works in Baltimore. He works at Morgan State University. I'm here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay. Okay, glad we went with the sheep. It's really cute, I think. So they're sheep on parade. <laughs> but I love the detail in these stamps. I just think that, you know, that's what's cool is the detail. So again, don't forget, if you do this, you want to heat press it. So just, you can use your iron or you can use um, a heat press if you have one. Um, that way, before you wash it, that'll set the colors and then you should be able to wash and dry it. Okay, so we have our last one and this is the grand finale. And I'm going to use this one that I've been wanting to use for a long time. So um, this will be a much bigger impression. Okay, so again, you pull the, let me make sure I get the right one. Okay, you're pulling this uh, sheet. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has been on here for a long time, but they're always like this when you pull them off at first. You think it's never gonna come off. And I kinda have, weak hands these days. I have a thing going on with my finger, which is not good for a painter. So I um, <laughs> guess eventually we'll get that checked. Sorry about the noise. Okay, and again, some people press uh, sand this a little when it's new. It just gives it a little bit of tooth, um, but I've also done it lots of times, certainly without doing that. So this is a pretty big um, impression, but it's really pretty. So um, here's a color that we haven't used. It's called Spiced Marmalade. I'm not going to worry about doing green or anything. I think just doing this one monotone. Another thing that would be pretty is this Mermaid Lagoon. Uh, blue. Hmm. Again, I'm torn. You might have to weigh in. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a purple here, but I it's called Dusty Concord. I'm not I'm not feeling the purple at the moment. I think I'm going to go with the blue. I like the orange, but I think I'm going to go with the blue. There you have it. I just want something kind of vibrant. So here we go. Now that kind of bent, so I got some ink on 
the rest of the stamp. So you want to be careful because that would, because it was bent, that would show up. So I wiped it off. This is going to be so pretty. I mean, I've had this thing for probably, um, let me see, maybe 2016. <laughs> just using the side and the bottom as my guide. I have a wrinkle. I hope this one turns out as pretty as I think it's going to. And I hope I didn't get any of those extra little parts on there that I don't want. Oh, I love it. I really love it, and I'm glad I went with the blue. Okay, so we're going to move it on over and ink again. The orange would have been pr pretty, too, I think. Nice summer, summer color. But I think this would be more universally appealing. And I kind of wanted the contrast a little bit, too. Make sure there's nothing under here again. <laughs> now we have a nice flat area. Okay, and this one, we're just going to have to kind of line up as to where, to where we were. I'm going to be using this one on furniture, for sure. I don't know why I've waited. This would be beautiful on drawer fronts, or the sides of drawers. One more inking, and I think we'll only need about half of it. This is kind of an elegant design. It's like the flowers have sort of a paisley kind of feel to them. Really pretty. And then on this, um, this color, it almost reminds me of like Delft uh, pottery or something. Blue willow or something along those lines. So there is a border companion to this. Um... I could run it along the top, but you know, I feel like, I kind of feel like this is enough. So, um, what do you think? This may be my favorite, just because it made the most um, vivid impression, that's for sure. So, let's review. So, we've got this guy. Love it. And we have... The sheep. Sheep on parade. And I can't get the corner. Okay, another favorite. This is just looks so faded and vintage to me. I just think it's really pretty. Mm. 
Remember to heat set. Love the bees. I think they definitely turned out cute. And then the last one that we have is that um, flourish. Let's show you that one. You know what? I like them all. I think they all turned out really good. And I'm anxious to heat set them. Now I'm flipping the camera back up so we can, uh, sorry about my hand. There we go again. <laughs> okay. So just to, before I go, boy, I can't believe this took an hour because I thought it would be such a quick and easy. It was easy for sure. Um, took a little longer than I thought, but that's okay. It was fun. Um, so just to let you know that Saturday is going to be part two of my sign uh, video, doing a new sign for the store. And then, um, like I said, got a, I got a couple things going for videos. And then uh, just, I'm not sure when I'm away if we're going to be doing two talks or not so we'll see i can't believe it's next week already so um in the meantime i hope you guys have a wonderful memorial day weekend uh safe and happy and um i hope you all take care all right have a great night thank you so much for watching bye